Hello friends, it's Carla, your online doctor with today's Live in 5. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd, it is 5 p.m. So today is our last day talking about digestive enzymes. So we're going to look at how different branches of medicine feel about digestive enzymes. So let's start with traditional medicine. Traditional medicine emphasizes treating poor digestion by making dietary and lifestyle changes, all of which I encourage. Okay, people are encouraged to eat raw foods and probiotics, um, probiotic foods that naturally contain enzymes since heat is believed to destroy plants um, delicate enzymes. So you want to make sure that you do get your share of raw fruits and vegetables. Again, that said, sometimes they're harder to digest, so you may need digestive enzyme supplementation. Okay, according to the ancient medicinal system of Ayurvedic medicine, digestion depends on sufficient agni or digestive fire. Agni is improved by removing causes of indigestion. For example, eating when stressed. So we all know that if you're stressed, you already have an upset stomach. So it's really not a good, you, you need to relax and take a deep breath and, you know, do all the other things to, to calm yourself down to improve your digestion. Improving your diet and using herbs and home remedies to strengthen your digestive system, especially ginger, turmeric, cumin, fennel, rosemary, cinnamon, and oregano. One remedy is to drink herbal tea with these herbs and spices incorporated in it. So all of that is great, and I love that. Um, I incorporate those spices as well as essential oils. So you can get uh, all the benefits multiple ways, but that was according to Ayurvedic medicine. Now in traditional Chinese medicine, digestion is improved by supporting the stomach and spleen and improving your chi or vital energy. Acupuncture, herbs, movement, and stress management complement the use of plant-based enzymes that are obtained from eating whole foods. Okay, raw fruits and lightly cooked vegetables are recommended. Again, all good stuff, right? This is, there's nothing in here that makes me say, hmm, what were they thinking, right? Now, other ways to encourage digestive health include eating local and seasonal foods, choosing organic, unprocessed, non-GMO foods, limiting intake of additional sugar, liquids during meals, that was an interesting one for me, and cold foods, chewing your food thoroughly and not eating within two to three hours of bedtime, and practicing Tai Chi, yoga, exercise, and stretching, all to increase your appetite. Now, by improving your, all of those things are designed to improve the flow of energy in your body, which we all know if your body is functioning properly, things, things work better. Your digestion is just going to be better with everything aligned. In today's world, sometimes that doesn't happen. Eating when you're not stressed may be really difficult right about now. So you may, this may be a time of your life where you may need to supplement with digestive enzymes just to facilitate that process until you get past this, whatever this is, whether it's, you know, COVID-19, whether it's um, the riots going on, whether it's out of being out of a job, whether it's having your children home and you're going crazy, you know, all kinds of things lead to stress. So that is really important to try and overcome that, but being malnourished in the process, having your body not digest the foods you need properly means you're maybe trying to eat well, but your body is just simply not getting out of it what it should. Now, lastly, are there any risks or side effects to taking digestive enzymes? Always a good question. If you have any chronic health problems, you should definitely discuss your options with your healthcare provider. Don't start on something uh, without their, their say-so or their go-ahead or their, yeah, probably won't hurt you kind of thing. But you want to make sure that they're aware of what you're trying to do and why you're trying to do it. If they don't believe in digestive enzymes at all, ask them why. 
you know, tell them that you've read or you heard from, you know, all whatever, that you heard that improving digestion will improve your nutritional uptake and all of that. Let them give you a reason otherwise. And then get back to me and tell me what they said. Now, digestive enzymes are generally well tolerated and helpful. Side effects you might experience can include nausea, abdominal cramps, gas, headaches, and change in bowel habits. Unfortunately, some of these are the same symptoms and they have prompted you to take digestive enzymes in the first place. But if they worsen, <clears throat> definitely consider stopping what you're taking and see if they go away. So if you take something and something happens, a symptom that's not good, don't necessarily forge through. You know, people say, yeah, 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 keep taking them, keep taking them. I don't agree with that. I think that if you're taking them, maybe it means you need to go a little slower. Maybe you need to make some variations. Um, but clearly make sure you're following the label instructions. If you take high doses, you're more likely to have symptoms. But my feeling is start slow and imp increase as tolerated. So, for example, when I start something, I make sure I don't do anything different. Okay, I don't eat different during those days, and I only start one supplement at a time. So if I'm gonna take a digestive enzyme, I'll take one a day. Even if the bottle says to take with every meal, I take one. And take it for like two, three days, and really get a, a handle on how your body is handling it. And then if, you, if everything seems okay, maybe go to two a day with two meals. And that may be all you need. You may only need one, you may only need two, but if you still have the symptoms that caused you to start, my dad, I'm gonna call him back, then you may want to continue upping it just a little bit. Now, I used to take omeprazole for acid reflux for many years. I never um, was told um, to stop it. I was never told to adjust my diet. Only take a prescription, my father again. Um, yeah. So I opted to stop taking the medication to find the root cause of my acid reflux. For me, the biggest trigger is gluten. I already eat dairy-free, but I realized gluten caused me to have lots of heartburn. So I eliminated gluten from my diet and I took digestive enzymes and I have not taken prescription or over-the-counter medications for heartburn 99% of the time for the last couple, uh, last year and a half, okay? I do use essential oils in addition. Again, I watch my diet, I exercise, I try to do all the right things. But if I can be off prescription medications that I was taking for 20 years for acid reflux and heartburn and only need to do something, again, only natural things will I supplement with, um, on occasion, and I'm, and I'm telling you, if it's twice a month, I used to take this prescription medication twice a day, every day for 20 years. It can be done. I promise you it wasn't that hard. It was just finding the root cause of my problem. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I hope you look at the last five days of digestive enzyme videos and learn something and see if it applies to you or somebody that you love, somebody you live with um, that could benefit. Trust me, lots of people need them and don't realize it. So hope you have a great day and we will talk again tomorrow. So have a wonderful evening. I'll see you tomorrow for another Live in 5.